A city of Mobile says it's going to show the family of Jerron Dallas police body cam footage of a confrontation with police in Tillman's Corner just before he died last month. Yeah, well, the family members aren't happy with city attorney Ricardo Woods because he repeated what he said last week. They will have to wait until the investigation into the confrontation is finished. Mm. Fox News Brendan Kirby in studio with more. And Brendan, that investigation could take a while. Yeah, that's right, Lenise and Byron. We're talking probably months, as long as it takes before the Mobile County District Attorney's Office is ready to present this to a grand jury. Since July 2nd, when Jawan J. Dallas died after a confrontation with Mobile Police, the city has been under pressure to release body camera footage of the incident. On Tuesday, City Attorney Ricardo Woods pledged to show the video to the Dallas family, but not right away. In reference to the grand jury uh, submission, we're not allowed to give that information out because you have an ongoing criminal investigation. The incident happened at Plantation Mobile Home Park. Police say they were responding to a report of an attempted break-in when they spotted Dallas and say he tried to flee. Police say that he tried to grab an officer's taser gun during an ensuing scuffle, and then the officer stunned him twice. He later died in a hospital. Wood says the case can't be presented to a grand jury until a toxicology report has been completed determining whether Dallas had drugs in his system and whether they played a role in his death. His mother, Christine Dallas, says that's not good enough. I don't think that we should have to wait months if the uh, Mobile Police um, Department feel like they did nothing wrong. Why make us wait? All we're trying to do is get some type of closure so we can know what happened to my son. Several council members, including Councilman William Carroll, voiced support for the Dallas family, but stopped short of calling for the city to amend the policy. If that was your child, you want to know too. You want to know too. I mean, we, we keep looking in the mirror and we keep getting in the rearview mirror. We keep seeing the same thing. Dallas family lawyer Roderick Van Daniel referenced a new law that takes effect Friday, allowing family members to see police body cam footage. But Wood says it doesn't change how the city handles these cases. So why do we have to wait months when you have an opportunity to do it in a week? Even once the law goes into effect, there's still the carve out for an ongoing criminal investigation. Police Chief Paul Prine has said that the officer followed proper protocol and could have used deadly force. Reporting live in the studio, Brendan Kirby, Fox 10 News.